Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see how to enable node level TLS using CSN certificates in the Power Center. This is a part four video. In the part three video, I told about how to enable uh, admin console HTTPS using CSN certificates. Now, the main agenda of this video is I will start with a quick demo. So while showing the demo, I will tell you the theory as well. So if you see, we have already enabled HTTPS for the admin console URL. Uh, in the part three video. Now we are starting a node level TLS. Uh, in, in this video, we starting a node level TLS. Now, if you see here at the domain level, enable secure communication is false. Okay. So at the domain level, we can start the enable secure communication to true. We can make it. And at a node level, if you see, click on the node and we can see here HTTPS key store file. Only the, this is a HTTPS key store file but a node level tls is not enabled that means node level key store file trust store file is not there now we'll enable uh node level tls and also we'll enable if the no node level tls is enabled then the domain level tls also we need to enable so here if this is the domain level tls so here also we need to enable now we need to follow this kb we have already a kb 511374 so this is the kb which talks about generate and configure custom key store and trust store for informatica services to enable secure communication using the certificates provided by the certification authority ca okay now as i mentioned in the previous video like uh, so first we need to create a key store file so for everything we need a key store file now in the first step we are creating a key store file so basically what are the steps here we need to follow first we need to create a key store file and we need to generate a csr and we need to give the csr to the ca authority the same steps and ca will give you as the root intermediate or cross intermediate or the server certificate and the reply reply or site certificate now we need to import all these into the uh, our key store file now at node level tls we'll have four files but for admin console http url we have only one file which we have seen in the previous video we have only the key store file but at node level tls we have we need four files info underscore key store dot jks and info underscore keystore.pem and infants for trustor.jks and trustor.pem. See, the, these are the four files which uh, which we need to have and we need to import the certificates into these four files. Now, let's first create a keystore file. Now, if you see, this is a step for creating keystore file. Now, if you see, we are creating with the name info underscore keystore.jks because uh, when you uh, give info underscore keystore.jks and trustor.jks, trustor.pem, and keystore.pem so then only the power center will recognize these are the keystore and trust store files at the node level if you give uh, like a ram keystore.jk something it won't pick up so that's why make sure you are giving info underscore keystore.jk now this is a command key tool hyphen gen key we are giving an alias info and key algorithm rsa and key size and validity thousand days and key store file we are giving a info underscore keystore.jk so this is the jks file we are creating Iphone hext san option if you want you can do now let's log into the power center mission and let's see the command now if you see i am in a uh, directory info home tomcat con I, I have created one more directory ssl3 now you can be in any directory not only this directory so instead of so we will have like if you see at cd so if you see at info home services shared security so if you log into here, you can see four files in front of keystore.jks, keystore.pem, and trustor.jks, trustor. These are the default one which power center will give. If you want default one, we can use this one, which I already told in the part two video. Now we are generating these four files using a CSI certificate. That means our own certificate, which got from the CA. So that's why don't touch anything here. So you just keep it as it is. And I am just create. I have just created one folder in Tomcat conf directory, which is nothing but I have created a SSL3 directory. Okay, so here we need to create a key store file and we need to import everything. So now let me run the key store file command. Now you can see this is a key store file. If you see key tool hyphen gen key and D name, as I mentioned, distinguished name, and I am providing all the details directly here. If you don't give this one and if you press enter it will ask one by one all these details and alias i am giving a stormcat and key in the kb they have given us info you can give any alias and key password is info at one two three and make sure the store password is also the same and validity is thousand days and hyphen ext so uh, san option we need to give and press enter now we can see the key store file got created 
now after creating a key store file we need to generate a csr now let's go to the kb now we have completed the step one and here create the csr certificate signing request and submit the csr to a ca now this is the command if you see certificate request and hyphen alias so whatever the alias we have provided here in the step one you need to provide the same and you can give any file name here we have given impa.csr on the key store file which we have given in step one impa underscore key store dot jks now we can see i am running the same command set request and i am giving alias as tomcat here i have given a tomcat so that's why i am giving a tomcat impa dot csr and the key store file info underscore key store dot jks and hyphen san option now press enter and info at the rate one two three now we can see the csr also got generated now this csr we need to give to our ca authority and ca authority will give you all the certificates root intermediate cross intermediate and reply or site certificate now uh, we got all the certificates we have given the csr to the ca and we'll get all the certificates now if you see the third step once you get back the certificate from ca import the site or reply certificate alone to info underscore keystone.jks okay you will need the other certificate for info underscore trusted.jk so you don't import a root intermediate or cross intermediate into this key store info underscore keystone.jks now okay so we will need to install into the trusted.jks so that's why uh, you need to run key tool hyphen import hyphen alias infa so infa so when you are in, uh, importing site or reply certificate you need to use the same alias which we have used while creating key store and csr so that's why infa and the key store file and you need to import your site or reply certificate here so if you see please do not import any other certificates like root issuer or intermediate certificate to jks key store in this step it's not needed and it will cause you will face some uh, errors so that's why you just import only the reply or certificate okay and also if you see we have seen this happen when the certification authority is an internal one now sometimes when you do run this command like when you run the above command you can see java dot lang dot exception fail to establish chain from reply so when you are uh, uh, importing only the site or reply certificate you will get this error so uh, the reason for this is we have seen this happen when the certificate authority is an internal one not well known cs like very sign dg set so whenever we face uh, this error while importing a uh, uh, site or reply certificate then we need to like uh, this happens when we, it is not a well-known ca or it's resolved it by importing the public certificates of the ca and the intermediate who signed your site certificate into the trust store user by the key tool command that means uh, first you need to import like you need to run key tool hyphen import hyphen alias something root if you got a root and root into the key store so this is a key store so csrs is a key store file so and then you need to run hyphen key store and this path csrs and then you just provide the file name root so you just re, uh, you just import all the public certificates of the ca into uh, the java lib security csrs and then we can import the site or reply certificate into the key store file then we won't see this error let me log into the server machine now i got a root certificate which is top level ca certificate i got and i got a server certificate reply site or reply certificate now first we need to import as i mentioned impa underscore keystone we need to import only the server certificate now i am providing hyphen keystone impa underscore keystone dot jks and i am importing the server certificate which is site or reply certificate and provide the keystore password i'm giving impa at the rate one two three now if you see we are getting error fail to establish chain from reply which is present in the cave now we need to uh first we need to like we need to take all the public uh we need to get all the public uh certificates of the root and intermediate and we need to install into the java so if you see here java jre lib if i go into java jre lib security and you can see a csrs now for to into this you need to import you need to run key tool hyphen import hyphen alias if you are getting a public uh, certificate right the root then provide root key store so you just provide this path java jre lib security csrs here and you just import the root certificate so whatever the certificate so you need to import root intermediate like cross certificate of the public uh, of the pu pu public certificates of the root, root and intermediate okay so then after that then we can run this command and we'll we won't see this error now the second there is a second solution as well let me show you the second solution so instead of uh, importing into that we can simply first uh, let me go into cd tomcat con and cd ssl3 
okay now if you see these are the certificates okay so now instead of so while we are running this command we are facing this error so if you see in four so in five at the rate one two three now we can see fail to establish chain from reply now first what we will do in order to so there is some trick here first we will import a root into the key store file then we can successfully import the uh, server certificate which is site or reply certificate after this after this certificate server certificate is imported into the key store file then we we'll delete the root entry okay so let me show you that now if you see i am just importing first root into the uh, alias root into uh, this uh, root certificate into the info underscore keystore.jk now press enter info at the rate one two three and we can see the root is getting installed type s and okay so in the into the info underscore keystore.jk now root gone now in uh, now import the server certificate now if i am importing the server certificate if you see keystore info underscore keystore.jk and server certificate.crp now enter in at the rate one two three okay now we can see the certificate reply was installed into keystore now what we'll do if you see uh, run key tool command list command key tool hyphen list hyphen b hyphen keystore info underscore keystore dot jks info at the rate one two three now we can see the keystore file contains two certificates which is nothing but a, a root one and also we got a tomcat one which is a default one okay that means a server reply certificate now we'll just delete the root entry because in info underscore keystore.jk we should not uh, enter root so that's why key tool hyphen delete hyphen alias alias name we are given as a root and key store to just provide the key store info underscore keystore.jk and in fact at the rate one two three now we can see the entry got deleted if you see if you run the deep uh, key tool command again in fact at the rate one two three now we can see the entry of the root got deleted so if you see we have only one entry which is if you go up your keystore contains only one entry which which is that entry so this is the site or reply certificate entry okay now in this way also we can avoid that error first we'll import a root and then if you have a intermediate or a cross intermediate you just import intermediate cross intermediate also with a different alias after uh, entering the server certificate which is nothing but site or reply certificate after importing you just remove all those certificates root intermediate and cross certificate now till here we got info underscore keystore.jk now from info underscore keystore.jk we need to get info underscore keystore.com the fourth step is we need to run this command key tool hyphen import keystore and if you see we are giving info underscore keystore.jk and the destination store type is pkcs4 that means we cannot directly get dot jks to dot file. first we need to convert to pkcs12 format we need to run this command now we can see it is asking for the destination key password and you just provide info at the rate one two three only and source key store password you just provide the same info at the rate one two three now one entry successfully imported okay now after this we just need to convert the dot pkcs12 format to dot pem5 format now we can see we are just running this command so you see we are just uh, giving the pkc install format input file and we are getting info underscore keystore.pem as output now we can see uh, in this we have info underscore keystore.jks is completed info underscore keystore.pem is also completed now after getting after running these two commands we got all the files now if you see now we need to get info underscore trustor.jks file now we can see like uh, create info underscore trustor.jk so we need to run this command in trust into trustor we need to import root if you get a cross intermediate you just import cross intermediate and if you get intermediate you just import intermediate and we need to import the recite or reply certificate with the same alias which was provided in the first step and second step. okay now let us run these commands now we are creating info underscore keystore dot jks file and we are importing that root certificate into that so in fact that one two three and you just re-enter the password and trusty certificate yes now you can see the info underscore trustor.jk has got created and the root got imported into it in my case i got only the root certificate and the reply certificate uh, site or reply certificate but if you get intermediate and cross intermediate we just import that also into the trustor now i am just importing the site or reply certificate which is server certificate.crt and i am just importing 
in file the rate one two three now certificate was added to the key store now if you want to list from the list command hyphen list hyphen key store file and you can just run in file the rate one two three now we can see uh, it contains the default one like a server certificate okay so if you see the owner is this one and the issuer is the root so you can see the root also got imported here now after this we need to create in the score key store dot pem file we got dot jks from dot jks we cannot directly get so that's why i am converting I'm giving in the score trusted dot jks and i am converting to pks cs12 for and you just provide it, same password in further at one two three if i add the red one two three and enter source key store password in fact rate one two three so if you see two entries got successfully imported now we need to create a dot pem file now this is the command we need to run so we need to give pcs install as input and we are getting pem as output just provide an info at rate one two three now you can see the info underscore trusted dot pem also we got now by this we got to info underscore dot jks and dot pem and trusted dot jks and dot pem now we need to uh, enable first we need to enable tls at the domain level in the admin console and then we need to run update get menu at a node level and then we can start the services now see here up to see up to now we can see like uh, we got all the four files and then if you see first we need to enabling secure communication for the domain from the command line so from the command line if you want to enable the first we need to enable tls at the domain level from the command line you can use this option update domain options hyphen devo tls mode equal to true okay so or else you can just simply go to the admin console and here you just click enable secure communication and make this option as true and you just edit this one let me log in again we just need to make this as true now edit and click the enable secure communication and a save changes okay now at the domain level we are able to enable the tls and if you see the second one shut down the informatica services so at the node level if you want to enable you need to first shut down the services and then you need to run the update gateway node so when you run the update gateway node with type tls true and with the node nk nk is nothing but node key store so here we need to provide only the directory and the node key store password which is in fact the red one two three in our case and node trust store directory and node trust store password so then uh, the node level tls is, will get enabled now if you want to update the worker node configuration update the worker node as well to enable secure communication by making use of the same files so you can move the same files to worker node as well and then you can run the same command okay and the update the domain store in profile is secure communication so if you want to update the domain store in profile you can do it by default it will get enabled if you want you can do it this one okay now uh, the last step is start the informatica services now before running the update get node command you just take the backup of node meta.xml so i am just taking the backup and just put before enabling node level node tls and we have taken the backup and if you see the node meta.xml vi node meta.xml and we can see only the key store of the https and we cannot see any node key node level key store or trust store if you want you can search for tls how tls enable if you see tls is not enabled here so okay so now we can enable the tls now i have stopped the services and i am running update get menu now you can see the node key store directory is this one which we have ssl3 and you don't need to provide any file name you need to provide only the directory and password is impaired that one two three and no trust store trust store is also placed here only and impaired that one two three now just press enter here now i have started the services we can see the node is starting on tls mode and also uh, if we go into uh, node.xml we can see the key store directory is pointing to ssl3 uh, it node.xml got updated with these values and if you see the trust store directory is also pointing to ssl3 and the it is a trust store password the password will get in, in the encrypted form and we can see from the admin console uh, at the node domain level the enable checker communication became true and if you click at the node level and also we can see the node method 
and also we can see the key store directories as well and if you see here so we can see the key store directory and the trust store directory previously it is not there so uh, by following these steps we have enabled successfully the node level tls and the domain level tls and the video demo got completed and for your references you can see this uh, KB article 511374, and you can also see our Impa support channel. Now, in order to uh, disable the TLS, you just need to run hyphen T update get menu hyphen TLS to pass. And if you want to end, disable the uh, admin console URL HTTPS, then you just need to run update get menu hyphen HS option to zero. Now, we would love to hear from you. You can give our feedback at support videos at directinformatical.com or Twitter channel. Thank you for watching this video.